All right, now at Tactical Rifleman, you know we are all about how to shoot, move, and communicate. We do a lot of shooting videos, survival, a little bit driving, hand-to-hand, a -hand, little bit of everything. This week, we're going to change in the other direction just a little bit. We're going to head towards communications. More specifically, we're going to get into uh, security. And uh, what I've got here is a good friend of mine, a, a SEAL named Jason. Uh, Jason, what do you got for us? Hey, thanks, Carl. Hey, to, today on Tackle and Wifeman, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about an emerging threat uh, in the personal and professional uh, security, uh, and that's cybersecurity. Uh, one of the weakest points of performance that I'm seeing with a lot of people, and something that can be easily remedied, is password generation. Now, having a strong password can mean the difference between having your electronics hacked uh, and having a secure environment for your personal electronics and work electronics uh, to maintain that security uh, that's necessary. Now you mentioned password security. Um, so like using my birthday or uh, my daughter's name, bad idea? Uh, yeah, that's probably not where you want to go specifically with passwords. Uh, the trick to these password generations is creating a standard operating procedure and a technique to have 256-bit encrypted passwords, but doing them in a, in a fast amount of time. You're going to want to have a password that's going to be easily generated. Uh, that way you're using it over and over again and not resorting back to the usual practices. Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, kind of explain how to generate these passwords and, and go over a, a practical application of generating these passwords and what they look like. So no more having to write it down, write down 40 different passwords and have them on a piece of paper tucked in my wallet. No, not, not at all. Perfect. All right, so let's show me what you got. All right, it's real easy to generate a 256-bit encrypted password. Uh, you can do this on a laptop. You can do it on your iPad or any other smartphone device that you have. The QWERTY keyboard on the iPhone is it's just as easy to, to operate as it is on this, on this keyboard. The technique I'm going to show you today is a basic one-letter V formation utilizing the shift key to generate this password. The way to operate that is, is you can use your standard operating procedure, whatever you come up with in your head to generate this password. All you're gonna use is pick one letter off of that QWERTY keyboard. It could be on the bottom row, the, the Z through M row, it could be the A through L row. This will give you ample opportunities to create as many passwords as you can. That comes into play when your password could possibly be reset or you'd have to come up with a new one every 90 days, which is usually the standard uh, in, in, in the corporate world. Step one is basically going to decide whether you're going to push the shift key down or lift it up on your first generation. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use the M key. So to remember your password, you're only going to have to remember one letter. My password's M. Uh, if I had to ever change my password, I'd tell Carl, hey, your new password is N or your new password is B. Using our standard operating procedure, he's automatically going to know what that password is going to be. This is going to be a 16-digit password utilizing the shift key, M, J, U, seven, all lowercase numerical seven, M, K, O, zero, shift key down, creates that uppercase level and special character, capital M, capital J, capital U, ampersand, capital M, capital K, capital O, end parentheses. Nice, that's awesome, wow. That's gonna give you a quick, easy way to generate a password. In real time on a keyboard, it's gonna look something like this. In under three seconds, I've just put, put in my, into my computer uh, a password that's, that's strong. It can be tested on a website such as password, passwordgenerator.com, and it, you have the ability to easily do it in your smartphone. And the cool part is that's something even somebody that's got Dane Bramage like me, I, I, even I can remember that. that. That's brilliant, totally brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. And if you have an abundance of websites, let's say you've got an iTunes account, Instead of remembering this mundane password where you have to go all over the, the, the keyboard, maintaining that shift, that, that shift pushing capability is going to allow you to go all over using your standard operating procedure. The same can be done on the other side, just being creative. Off shift key, I've got lowercase z, lowercase a, lowercase q and 1, over to the number 2, lowercase w, lowercase x, correction, lowercase s, lowercase x. Holding the shift key down, I get my capital letter, 
capital Z, capital A, capital Q, an exclamation point, over to the at sign, cap capital W, capital S, capital X. There you go, up, over, and down. So you pick a particular pattern, and then all you've got to remember is which keys you're doing it. And uh, like you mentioned earlier, you can actually give someone else your password. For example, if your laptop or let's say your wife needs to get into the computer or another operator does, you can just give them what that base letter is without compromising what your pattern because they already know it. Absolutely. Perfect. And it can be shifted up. What we'll do is we'll put the password on the screen. You can determine for yourself if that's a, if it, when it looks like a complicated password, it tests very strong in the, in the password protection generation. Um, additionally, it's real easy to do on your, on your laptop and your phone. All right, so we've got all you Internet Ninjas sitting out there. You are at your computer currently watching this, right? You, you came here because you want to learn how to shoot, move, communicate. Brother, this is another great skill. Add this thing right here, another tool for your bag of tricks. If you've got any of the questions and comments, uh, you know the deal. Leave them below. Thanks for watching Tactical Rifleman.